Hello everyone and welcome back to Berserk Warriors, where we're chilling outside the Tower of Conviction, which is uh, not really the best place to be considering they're running around, grabbing everyone who's a heretic, it's a big old refugee situation. I don't want to get into politics right now, because people in the comments aren't very friendly about that stuff. So, let's take a look at Farnese's uh, recollections a bit more. I should note, uh, these videos are recorded like super in advance, like... I think we're at like part 7 for when I have uploaded so far, and yet this is what, part 18? So, just how things go, man. Ruka ほの誰かが世界という薄皮を一枚剥がすと、そこには恐怖が埋めているのだと。そして、その恐怖から逃れる術を彼らを引いて、彼らの一部となって踊ればよいのだ。炎に当たられたのか。私は下腹部に不思議な熱を感じ
Yes, yeah, Serpico and Farney's uh, situ- uh, relationship is hard to describe, would be putting it mildly. So, uh, I think I'll leave it. That's definitely one you have to read the, the manga chapters on. There's a lot of chapters on flashbacks and stuff, and I think that's so, I think that's fine for Berserk. It's very important for characterization. I mean, at least he's honest about that. My favorite is there's, uh... Oh, hey! Japanese wordplay! There's one, there's one time when uh, Isidro tries to steal the Dragon Slayer, and he picks it up and he can't even lift it. What a baby. What a baby, Babu. Let's go, Conviction Arc. Go to the refugee camp. Hopefully we'll, uh, hopefully we'll not be taken in as heretics, because that'd be bad. Because, you know. Alright. I think if we don't actually kill anyone, we might be good, right? Perhaps, perhaps we'll see. We'll see if it'll be like a if we will actually be we targeted from the beginning. In the Tower of Conviction, heretics are being persecuted. Cries for help bleed out from the tower as Inquisitor Mosgas cruelly tortures his victims. The Holy Iron Chain Knights, who had given up on pursuing the Black Swordsmen, <laughs> yeah, because they're like, yep, that's out of our league. Let's go after the refugees instead. Are assisting Mosgas in hunting down heretics. Their leader, Farnese, struggles with thoughts that their actions might not actually be helping the salvation of the people. You mean, killing people doesn't save them? Weird. It, it's a shame that it has to be said, but... Oh, these are just the Holy Iron Chain Knights. Yeah, we can kill them. They, they know that. They, they, we, we know our situation with them. Do we have a Cedro with us, actually? Who's our, who's our blue? Yeah, it's Cedro. He's here. He's doing stuff. Kind of, maybe. Let's go gather some info. Let's do that by killing these dudes that are killing the people. So yeah, our, I wonder if the actual, um, the, the prostitutes, the friendly prostitutes are going to be in this. Because they were truly interesting characters. I mean, say what you will about Berserk 20, uh, 2016, which we are in right now. We are in the Berserk 2016 anime entirely. Uh, this is like episode like four or five. Um, no, closer to six, I think. But, um, you know, aside from one of them, whose name I forget, but is such a huge jerk and idiot that I hate her, the, uh, surprisingly, the prostitutes were some of the nicest characters. Does this mean Guts is actually Jesus? Because, you know... Jesus talked to the prostitutes and stuff. That's up to you. Actually, some people think that... Uh-oh. Uh that's not good. Some people think that uh, Griffith is meant to be Jesus and the uh, Guts is meant to be like the Antichrist. Because in this world, like, the angels are demons and everything's backwards. So, that'd be interesting if that's the case. Did I already lose a Baylet? I think because I let the one die, I'm not going to get the bailet, which kind of sucks, but whatever, that's just life, man. This refugee's nearly dead. I mean, they are all super constantly dying. Like, they are just gross people. But, uh, let's, let's, uh, hopefully don't die, my man. Oh, thank you for the info. Stay, stay frosty, my dude. All right. Let's open up this door here. We gotta head north. Right? Or not. Defeat the Holy Iron Chain Officer. We'll do that. With a few swift swipes of my sword. Just kidding. This thing is too big to be a sword. What a good quote still. I love it. I'm pretty sure also the uh, that quote does appear... Not the quote, but this sword appears in... Um, Dark Souls as... A, no, we did it. Nice. Hey, this sword does appear in Dark Souls. There's actually officially licensed versions of uh, this stuff that appear in um, Dragon's Dogma. 
but uh, in this it's pretty much it's in in Dark Souls it's just like copyright free versions and Monster Hunter has kind of a similar sword uh, which you know the 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 great sword move set is kind of berserky anyways but it's even slower and even heavier which is redonkulous can you not do that oh Kask is there yeah no let's actually go save her did they really have to define her butt through that cloth? Like, I, I, I don't see why they'd have to do that. Can we not turn turn this version of Casca into a sexual icon, please? I'm not a fan of it. She's, like, mentally a three-year-old. It's not cool, man. Alright, let's head up there, though, and save her. We gotta kill these dudes on the way. Oh, this is this is the area outside the cave. Wow, we're wow, they're skipping a lot here. Like, way more than I remembered. Um Unless I'm thinking about this wrong. Remember, it has been a while since I've read and watched this section. Uh I mean I actually I know a lot of people who do reread Berserk a lot because it is there's not too much and it is you know it's a good read but uh, it's sometimes just the specific order of things I remember certain scenes for sure but uh, I don't remember him going right away to the uh, to go rescue Casca in these caves or if I no Casca was originally just in the in the village wasn't she because this area here is where a big fight happens later, which I'm fairly certain is not in the game. Because it deals with the prostitutes who I'm should have been seen by now. So, yeah, I'm guessing, I'm guessing they're not in here. But we'll see. I could be wrong. Maybe they're just switching up the order of how this chapter goes. Oh, yeah, no, this is all different now. Let's go save Casca. Is she gonna do anything in here? Nope, she's just doing nothing. All right. Well, the good news is she's just staying down, which is what we want. Got a bunch of falls. All right. Wow. Okay, we're building lots of meter. save these dudes. I mean, honestly, that is the best thing she could be doing. It's better than her just walking around in this situation. Perfect! Have we got all the Baylets so far? Yeah, nice. So, let's see here. Yeah, Casca, we say, is we're, like, far from her. Oh, demon dogs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's skipping over the demon goat stuff. That's a bit sad. The demon goat was a very interesting chapter. But, uh... It was like there was a, uh, a, a guy who put on a demon goat head and would be at this orgy. Uh, which turned out to not be an orgy at all, but because of the drugs, it was actually people ripping each other apart. And it was brutal and terrifying and horrible. Um... But, uh, he put on this goat head, but then there's a... Well, no, because we haven't met that character, who I know is in the game in some form. So maybe, maybe I am just thinking about this in the wrong order. Yeah, that was... It it's always seems to be the... It's like, defeat a hundred enemies, which takes no time. Maybe I am thinking about just this in the wrong order. We'll have to see. Where are we going now? Catch up to Cedro. We'll do that. Alright. Man, the inclusion of the horse is really nice. And I hope for uh, Hyrule Warriors. Oh, yeah. No, because if this is with Serpico here, then this is what I'm thinking about. But, okay. Yeah, this, this fight's in a totally different location. Oh, my God. I mean, I was wondering how they do this. So, in, in the original, there was... Um, this was literally on a single small, like, like a, a, a platform you'd have to sidle through in Zelda, you know? 
when I was wondering how they would do that. Can I just like? Can I just like? <laughs> that's that's kind of cheating. Wow, knife had nothing on him. Yeah, so I get it. They couldn't just make it be a chapter where you fight him on like a 2D plane. But it's still kind of a missed opportunity. If they were to remake this, like, you know how, like, they remade Pirate Warriors 1 for in Pirate Warriors 3, I'd like to see this done properly. Because it was a cool fight where it was... The fact that... The fact that Guts had to use his big sword on a, on a super thin ledge, you know, as opposed to where you can move. And then, of course, a fencer like Serpico was able to do a lot better, so... It's a bit, bit of a shame, bit of a shame. Wrong way. But it still hit him. Very nice. Got him. Unless we get a cutscene now of them, like, on the thing. Which I doubt. Oh, battle's over, so maybe. Did we get all them? I think we did. やつら捕まえた人はあの断罪の塔へ連れて行ってるみたいだよ。まさかキャスカマの中に残念ながらこの祭りの筋書きを変える方は人の手にはない。すでに我らは因果の流れの中だ。よっしゃ、殴り込み
完璧な世界を孵化することだ私は卵完璧な世界の卵だ穴から這い出た私は新たにやってきた人間どもをつぶさに見て回ったそして私がそこに垣間見たものは世界は醜かったそんな醜い世界の残骸で私の庭は埋もれていった真に求めるものはただ一つそれはこの世界に決定的に足りない最初で最後のかけらすなわち Yeah, so the egg of the perfect world. Bit of a weird character. Um, on my first reading, I had no idea who he was, and like it was very confusing. Uh, n again, now upon re watching, re reading all that stuff, I understand more. But, uh, no, he was just some guy born in the refugee camp area there, uh, under the tower, and he was ugly. So he was thrown into a pit and he lived there, and then they started piling corpses, and then he found a bailet, and then he's like, I want to become an egg that hatches the perfect world. And the god hand were like, lol, okay. And so they did. And he became an egg, and now he's going to apparently hatch the perfect world. Yep. Weird character. He looks like a bailet, and I'm pretty sure it's on purpose. So let's check out Farnese's、uh, next recollection, though. Is this more Mosga's fun? I hope so. He's my big favorite. This is the best loading screen minigame that they can do. I hate how those are still patented not to be used. I hate how those are still patented not to be used. お前が私の行動を逐一本家に報告していることを私が危機として邪教とでも借り集め家計にかけているとでも書き送ったのだろう父上の名家だろうな心配性の父上のことだお前も当主には逆らえまいしなはあだが忘れるなお前の主は私だお前は誓った私に剣を捧げるとお前の主はこの私ただ一人だけだはい憎いか私がああ憎むなんていい忘れろ私は未だ囚われていた、yeah. It's a little weird being told in this disjointed style. You don't get all the information from the characters. I would still definitely say if you are interested in Berserk, read the manga, do it. it go out of your way to do it. It is so good. Oh my god, are we actually going to be fighting Mosgas? Yes, let's do this thing right now. Kasuka, accused of being a heretic witch, is brought to the Tower of Conviction. I'll not lose her again. Soaring the soul to himself, Guts enters the Foreboding Tower. Let's do this. I wonder how much of the. Of. Like, okay, so they cut out the beginning of this arc, but I feel like the end they gotta do at least the majority of, you know? Because the ending's a big, good ending. Every arc's ending is wonderful.、Uh, so let's see here. Bail it info.、Uh, enter it within the time limit. Enter it within the time limit. Defeat all them within the time. Okay, so it's a big time limit one. Time limits are difficult to judge what is the time limit, what is not, but it shouldn't be too bad.、Uh, the salvation seeking populace hopes to dispel their misfortunes through the execution of a witch. Oh, right, they think she's a witch. Because when、uh, they're at the orgy, her mark goes off and demons start coming out to save her, and they're like, oh, she's the witch.、Uh, and they thought that was a witch mark. Danger is creeping ever close to Casca, and the feeling of foreboding in Guts' chest grows heavy.
Oh, is this the torture room that they're not going to show because it is one of the most brutal things I've ever seen? This is this is the deepest point for Berserk's like incredibly dark stuff. Like this is this is the bottom. It's all uphill after this arc. Kind of actually. I'm I'm thinking forward. Maybe maybe not. It's a little better. Do they put her, do they show? Oh, they didn't show him putting her into the Iron Maiden, which is terrifying. Right -o. let's go save Casca from the incredibly creepy torture chamber, which is so creepy it won't be in this game. Infiltrate the tower. Okay, we'll do that. We'll infiltrate it. Wait, are we gonna get? Are we gonna get a stealth? Oh, oh! I was hoping for a stealth section or something where we play as a Cedro. That'd be great. Sadly, no. Warriors, it is. I I thought a Cedro would be playable. He has enough of a move set if he and Puck were to work together for for a thing that it could happen. But oh well. I'm gonna save my power because there's no reason to waste it here. Why do we even need that? I'm not going to use it in case there's more enemies there. Can I just... Nope. Okay. Do I have to just kill these dudes? There we go. So it is kill within the time limit. Got it. Thanks, bro. You did it. Your worth has been made. Thanks, sun guy. Really, Isidro is in place of Guts' son. Oops, the wrong way. That is a very easy bailet. Oh. Okay, so we're skipping ahead then. So, you, I guess they're just going to skip over the fact that these things just exploded out of Casca. When they put her in the Iron Maiden, like these, this gross red fluid monsters that remind me of the ending of Digimon Tamers. Like, the, the, the ending of, of the third Digimon series was basically, hey, a computer virus gets out into the real world and it acts like a virus still, and everything turns into red goo. Wow. That is just a picture. That was a low quality cutscene. Wow, we're just skipping ahead, are we? Huh. Okay. I'm becoming a bad fan. I apologize. So he's become a semi-apostle, not an apostle. At least just yet. Actually, wait, are we gonna... Oh, that's cool. You turn the corner and see. See that. Farnese is blue, which means she's on our team. She's not having a good day. Oh, this is cool. I like big blob men. So yeah, no, they're going they're going quite a bit out of order with how uh, this ch this this whole arc is going. Like originally, 
you know, Mosca just gets just gets strong from the egg of the world injecting him. Uh, and in this, they just went immediately to his first transformation, which is fine, I guess. I'm being a, I'm being one of those fans, and I really have to apologize. Are we even gonna see his like team? You wait, can I just like? Yeah, that's cool. That felt like like a like a cannon action kind of, like is in like like a thing he he himself could do. That's cool. That's dank. Let's go burn these blobs. In the uh, in the actual thing, they're less individuals and more like a one giant blob. Oh, there's the, yeah, there's the thing they put her in. So this is the torture chamber. Okay. Wow, this place is so different in its layout. The, the cool thing about Berserk, actually, is that a lot of the layouts that they use could... Like, you, you can definitely tell how structures are laid out. Like, places. Uh, it has a very good, uh, like, continuity with how everything is, uh, which I really enjoy. Locational and structural continuity is definitely tough to get past, but, uh... God, that's so fun to do. Just blow these dudes up. It's great. And, yeah! Nice! This is, this is great, actually. I mean, this is so going against the canon. Like, these things are just meant to be things that guts, uh, you know, they have to run from. Because it's, it's a giant, just, blob of, of, demon. Uh, but no, they switched out to be, like, enemies. That's fine. Yeah, like this area, then you got the stairs going up. This is definitely, like, a, an area they have the, the continuity to. Puck has rejoined the fight. Where have you been? Actually, that's, that's a surprising piece of continuity. Oh my god, are, are we doing it? And now Farnese can finally see Puck, too, which is kind of cool. They go into, like, how... S oh my god. I can't even see me. They go into, like, how certain uh, people can't see... Can't see elves because they just, like, refuse to acknowledge it, you know? Like, they're blind. But that changes eventually. Yeah, so I, I I have a feeling we're skipping over the mini bosses. That's okay. Oh wow, okay, no, this isn't right at all. I I lied. That was supposed to be stairs going up that I thought. Unless this is the stairs going up. There's the stairs going up. This is kind of cheesy. It's fine. I'm enjoying it. It, it. It's definitely one way they they can they can get through this because it is. It is, how would you do a Black Blob style chapter, you know? And it, like, like Farnese doesn't actually join over with, with Guts until like the very end of this arc. So I'm, yeah, they're, they're changing the order up a lot. Honestly, past this arc, I won't care as much because, uh, it's, I haven't read it recently. I just remember bits and pieces and like, this one I re I watched recently because I'm like, you know, to hype up for Berserk Muso, I should probably watch the 2016 anime and actually, like, figure out how good or not good it is, you know, so. There are lots of these dudes here. It it's actually, like, crazy how different it is fighting enemies that are just, like, bigger. How it feels. Like, even though it is the same amount and they're not that dangerous, it's like... It definitely changes how you feel. I wonder if this is a, a level that we'll get to just play around in later. Or if this is like story exclusive. Oh, 
それこそ神の力の権限邪悪を払う花の翼なり天使我らが守護天使モズガス様これよりこの聖地にはびこりし邪悪の元凶であるこの魔女の家系を執り行いこの忌まわしき怪異に終止符を打ちますおお早くしろやいちまえやれあの女を焼けば助かるぞ<笑> All right, let's get up there. Yeah, it's pretty apparent we're not gonna get the mini boss squad. Yeah, Mosca's has his own like bunch of executioners who all get like semi angel forms, and they're really cool designs. And uh, they're actually very like sympathetic characters. Uh, who you feel bad? Like Mosca's? No, no, no. Mosca's is you don't feel bad for him. But definitely, definitely those dudes you do. So I wonder if we are gonna fight Mosgaz actually in this chapter, and if we do, I know his 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 final form is in the game, but I don't know where. It'd be a shame if we have to fight him indoors, cause the the location of where they fight Mosgaz is so cool. It definitely seems like after the Golden Age, uh, which was really really faithfully recreated. Uh, we're getting a lot more where it's like semi tellings of the chapters. I mean, it's better than it being like one per, but it's still, I, I kind of wish there'd be more, a bit more love put in, just the same amount as was in the, uh, the first, the first half of the game. But oh well. Uh, not all of them. Now they all are. There we go. Oh yeah, I know we are gonna be out here. Perfect. Nice. Let's do this. Oh, this is this is actually kind of cool. Now this this is semi faithful right here. I mean, like like yeah, that that cutscene was faithful. And it's a little weird. I don't think Mosgaz was trying to cause a second eclipse, but it just happened to be. Like I'm not exactly sure whose fault it is that. There need to, to be a pseudo eclipse, and Isidro's doing the good stuff. Oh, this music's good. Give me this choir. In terms of defeat have changed. I whenever that happens, I just I'm like whatever. You know what? I'm just gonna run gonna run for it these dudes can chase me they'll be fodder in the fight oh my god that's ridiculous this is ridiculous these things are just like consuming blobs I should not be able to do this okay that's fine I can't wait to fight those dudes in a, in endless eclipse though that'll be fun
Just straight into his second form. All right. All right. Wow, he's a lot smaller than I expected. Yeah, no, I expect him to be quite a bit bigger. Yeah, no, um, I thought he was a lot bigger. That's a bit of a shame. There we go. A run. There you go. What's he doing? He's blue. Okay. He's gonna do feathers. Yeah, feather. Or he's he's. Okay. To be fair, making him have like stone feathers that he punches with is really really cool. Like he is. I do really like. I do really like Mosga's design in this form. It's just a bit of a shame that like he can't play as him. Oh, he's red. I can't believe this is working. Wow, I got him out of it. That's nuts. I was like, I was like, I wonder how. Okay, so crossbow definitely does have use in the end, actually. Nice, broke his guard. I think he actually does use the explosives against him. No, he does, because he, he cracks in his armor. And then after that, he throws a bomb into it. It's pretty cool. I hope I didn't spoil it. I don't think I did. Three. Yeah, let's do this. Break the guard. Come on. Oh, let's... Will this win? Nope, that didn't do that much, really. Let's get the cannon end. Yeah! All right, that's a lot more anticlimactic compared to the actual ending. Well, we'll see. There might be more after we hear a bit more from Eggman. いただきから私の世界が滅びゆく様を見つめて私にとって見上げ続け見下ろすだけだったこの世界もういい終わらせてくれこの赤子はこれは肉の体ではあるが、ただの人間ではない。力尽きしにかけているのか、お前も私と同じか。異様の赤子よ。共に行こう。せめて私の中の新しき世界をゆりかごに夢を見るがいい。
トメシモノワキタレリI don't know if I'd call that a victory at all. I don't know if I'd call that a victory at all. So the egg of the perfect world. Eight. Casca. And, and Guts' demon baby. Who might have also been partly Griffith. And then gave birth to Griffith. Who is now the son of Guts, kind of? Maybe? Oh boy. Yeah, so Griffith's back and Zod's at his side, quite literally. Um, I'm sure things will be fine. Oh boy, I don't know if we complete that mission to get the last bailet in time. We'll have to check. But uh, that was the conviction arc. Still got more to do. <laughs> まるであの頃からそのまま抜け出してきたかのように。俺はあいつを目にした一瞬、殺意を忘れていた。それが許せねえ。当てとない旅だった。どこにいるかもわからないあいつの影を追って、資料どもを書き分け彷徨ってきた
いいんかねそんな安受け合いしちゃってあそういえば今お客さんが来てるんだ何でもリッケルトの古い知り合いなんだってリッケルトの兵隊だった頃のお友達だって言ってたからガッツも知ってる人じゃないかな白銀の長い髪で男の人とは思えないほどすっごく綺麗な人だったよなんだかまるでおとぎ話の中で I'm feeling incredibly uncomfortable right now Yeah, I got to you can see it, bro Ooh, deeper layers have been unlocked Puck spark, oh my god, is that a puck? I, like, weapon? Oh my god, are you serious? I might, I might use that all the time. What? Oh, I, okay, so it's like... Interesting, interesting. So we got more recollections. Oh my god, we fight Zod. I didn't... Does he fight Zod here? Or is it... I don't remember that. Huh. Alright guys, next time. Let's go... Let's... Let's go... Beat up Zod again. Did we get them all? Yeah, we totally did. Cool. Thank you all for watching. And, uh, yep, as you can see, we're out of the Conviction Arc and now onto the Hawk of the Millennium Arc, otherwise known as the Millennium Falcon Arc, because that's what it's meant to be. And the author even said, hey, it's meant to be the Millennium Falcon Arc because, um, A, he likes Star Wars, and B, uh, Falcon and Hawk in Japanese are the same thing, Taka, so it's the Millennium Falcon arc. There we go. Thank you all for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Ciao. You can